Hey everyone, welcome to Nga yet again, and you know, I recently made a language for the Rabbids from the Rayman Raving Rabbids universe, and you know, it is the Rabbid Lang, or La Pinkletine, um, you know, they are rabbit-like things with the Khan Lang. Also, Lang Time Studios seems to be making a language that is meant to be spoken by rabbits right now. I think it's called like Ingala or something. But, you know, w what I'm really wondering, you know, while, while society, Conlang society, seems to be on a bit of a rabbit-oriented trajectory right now, I was wondering why nobody is even mentioning Lapine. Anyone? Anyone? In my childhood, there were two main things that led me to conlanging. First was the Matoran language from Bionicle. Oh, oh God, do I, do, do I love me some Bionicle? Bionicle and the Matoran language and their secret codes and scripts and all that. Mmm, that that was like oh, cracking little gears going on in my like six-year-old brain. Like oh damn, these things can actually you know happen. People can make these. But that you know those those gears happened very early in my life and those were kind of set aside. What really snapped my old noggin into the the fact that conlangs are a thing that exist happened when I was in 8th grade, back in like 2012. My English teacher, at the time, gave us two weeks to read like a 500 page book. It was kind of stressful, like, oh god, you know, we've been assigned as homework, a 500 page book. What is this book? It is a book called Watership Down by Richard Adams. It was a book made in 1972, and it featured several excerpts of text from a language that is called Lapine. And now, if you're getting that connection, a little etymology going on in your head, you know, rabid, that in French, that's Lapine Clatine, Lapine, Lapine language, that's right. Lapine is, what is that, like Latin, I think? It, it, it's like a Latin descendant. It, it means something related to rabbits. Um, so this Lapine language is the language spoken by the main characters of Watership Down, who are rabbits. Watership Down is about rabbits escaping from human exterminators trying to find a new home. And it is a brutal book, like, the blood and gore and all kinds of stuff. I think there's some film adaptations too. But I didn't really care too much about the content of the book, but I would turn the page as much as I could until I found where the, pa where the paragraph would break and there would be a line of text written in this mysterious thing and I was like wow look at that that those are words that that person created and it, and, and it ain't English and then in the back of the book there's like a glossary with like a whole dictionary of all these words and stuff they yeah obviously because why wouldn't there be there there's a watership down wiki um, and then so the Lapine language you know it goes down and then you have like this very small list of words you know, n not too much stuff, but it looks pretty cool. A lot of H's at the beginning of words, plow, chayer, etc. You know, it, 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 it's not too much, but it's still something that existed. Um, and not only that, but they also have a lingua franca called hedgerow, which is the lingua franca that the animals all use to communicate to each other interspecies, which I think is cool, though, of course, there's like. You know, it, it like two sentences total in the book about it. It doesn't. It's not really considered. You know, it's just stuff. The grammar of it is it's pretty similar to English. You know, like subject, verb, object. You know, adjectives come before the before the nouns, etc. It's like he didn't put too much effort into the language and the dictionary isn't that huge like it's not that many words at all but just the fact that this existed at all absolutely baffled my childhood self and i was just so interested in this you know like vehicle like a like a car is hrududu and then the plural of that was hrududil and i like remembered that by memory throughout like the entirety of my life and only recently am i seeing like you know this this list of words and all that yeah it is 
nobody talks about it, and I, I'm pretty sure nobody talks about it because it's not like a super deeply developed, it's like, it's no J.R.R. Tolkien, you know, making his books based on the language instead of the other way around, like, no, it is nowhere near that level, and it's also not <laughs> George R.R. R. Martin's lazy thing just, like, pretending and then, like, you know, t telling David Peterson afterwards to, like, you know, make an actual language out of the gibberish I spammed in my books. Like, <laughs> no, no, th this was something that he put some effort into, but it is a real system, it's a real structure, it's a language meant to be spoken by those rabbits. I just thought it was, you know... It's cool that it existed and that now that I was more adolescent and no longer like a toddler looking at Matoron text I was legitimately interested in this and that's what got me started on the ancient Pocoyan thing If you watched my 500 subscriber video where I went through like all the developmental stages that led to Autojune um, and yeah, no, that, it really, it really got me started on the whole conlanging adventure in general. Um, it, I guess it's an unconventional way to be introduced to the community, as most people, they started with Lord of the Rings, and then they went on. Or they started with Klingon, and, and went on. No, no, for me, it was like, Matoron, but I didn't realize that was a thing till later, but mostly, it was this freaking a Lapine language from Watership Down that got me into all this. So, you know, if you haven't looked at it, I, I recommend, like, checking it out, but there's really not too much to look at. I just wanted to give it a shout-out for its importance in my childhood and, you know, just how little information there is about it and how little discussion there is about it on the internet. Again, there's not much to it, but it was just a, a significant part of my development as a person and I just wanted to share that so yeah that, that, that's about it all right I'm not out um, discord patreon etc see you next time bye bye Mwah.